Hey, good morning. Cold weather's finally here. It's in the 30s, so the shop's a little cool today. I've been looking forward to this light for a while. I've been planning on getting it, and I was waiting for it to go on sale, and I think it was finally on sale in ITC for $10 off, so it's $30, as opposed to $40 regular. So I do a lot of electronics work, and I thought this would be really great for soldering. So let's take a look at it. No assembly required. The mount is in the bottom of this. Ever present manual. The exploded view diagram. zip tied together. Very heavy. Wow. Mm, spring loaded. I wonder if it's going to work out okay on my electronics table. So here's the mount. It's pretty straightforward. My first impression of this is very well made. Looks pretty good, very heavy. Not sure if you're familiar with this, but this interface here is used a lot. So it looks like it extends, but then that is the home position for this. So that rotates as you go. If you set that flat, that pretty much stays flat through the whole range of motion. I like that. I'm afraid it's actually too big for my electronics table. <clears throat> I have to mount it on the side of the table over here so that I get good range of motion over where I work. The default configuration is with the door down and that's very hard to get a hold of and keep a hold of. So that's the light. You raise this. Uh, that's going to have to be improved. I might drill a hole in that and put a tab on there to pull on. But the way it's made, it's very hard to keep a hold of. Then you pull this up and you can look down through it and it magnifies everything in it. So there's how it looks. There's a, when I get real close to it, it's a little magnified as I go further apart. Magnifies more and more. The light switch here on top. Seems an odd place for a light switch, but to be honest with you, I can't think of anything better. So it, the brand name on this is HFT, which is Harbor Freight's true in-house brand, HFT Harbor Freight Tools. What that means is they went and found a manufacturer to manufacture this probably already manufacturing it and just slapped their own label on it right here. Part number is 60643. I'm not sure it's that bright. I have more than 15,000 lumens above this. <laughs> so this would be challenging to be bright under that. Okay, so I think it's very well made. Felt like it had a lot of spring, but it doesn't ratchet. When I first unfolded it, it felt like it had too much spring and it kept flapping all over the place. But when you set it up like this, it actually seems to work and wherever you set it, pretty much wherever it stays and there's a lot of resistance. So I kind of like this. To me, it's very well made. It's got this knob, I can loosen it and adjust this. And pretty much wherever you put it, it stays at that angle through the full range of motion. Seems to have a catch right about there in the springs. So, ah, so I got some range of motion this way too. I think it's going to be good for what I'm doing. Probably have to play around with all the angles. Um, not a lot to this. Uh, they give you directions on replacing the bulb. Got 
tighten that up. Seems to be a kink in them springs right through there, but it's really not a problem. I would anticipate using it and swinging it in and out as I need it. And I probably wouldn't use it as a light, although it most certainly is adequate. I would most likely use it as a magnifying glass. I have a little handheld glass that I use now. This is going to be so much better. That way I can put it in place and work without having to hold it. So what I'm going to do is take this and put it on my electronics bench and we'll see how it actually works. Okay, so funny thing about this is Harbor Freight's website does not have a manual for it. Somehow they've messed up the link to it. But I'll tell you what, come over to my website and I have the manual. So go, into, go to my website, search for the part number, manuals online, you'll be able to see it. So it might be the only place you'll be able to get the manual online. Okay, so I'm back to demonstrate this light in action. I've mounted it on my electronics bench. Um, still not happy with this handhold. It seems like my hand comes off it a lot. But it comes in really handy. Gives me a little bit more light. I have 5,000 lumen light right over top of this bench. So this light doesn't give it full illumination because it's overpowered by the other one. But it works like it should. Works really well. What I like about it is I can pull it down, put whatever I'm working on in the hobby vise, and I still have room to get in there and solder. So if I take my solder iron, I can see that, I can hold the solder, works really well. I would imagine that this would work equally well for any types of a handicraft hobby. Um, not really into those, so I can only demonstrate what I'm into. So here we go. This is how big it is. I put it behind this, and I pull that out or push it in, and I can magnify that, get good lighting on it. The camera's having some problems focusing. But as you can see, it's 1.75 times magnification works really good. What I like about it is I can still get in there to solder. So if I'm soldering I have room to get in behind it, use the soldering iron. So works out really well for me. It pushes out of the way when it's not in use. Easily turn it around, easily push it out of the way, or I can put it there and get a little bit more light on a very small area. This is what I was using before. It looks beat to hell, but that's why you don't have a loose magnifying glass. This works ten times better. This is what I've been working on lately. Wiring up this Ubit X 3D printed case. Very nice to have this. Use only circular type 22 watt lamp. Okay, so it's incredibly versatile, swings this way, turns almost 360, not in one direction, let's go like this, but that's okay. T5 bulb, buy those on Amazon, they're not that expensive. I originally didn't like the on-off switch, but once I started using it, it's actually very conveniently placed. So I get a lot of use out of it, I've used it for a couple of months use it a lot on projects, uh, putting together this radio, a lot of my Adreno projects, anything that requires soldering, really, really good. And it's incredibly well made. 30 bucks might seem like a lot for this light. Maybe the price is 40, but I got it for 30. 30 might seem a lot for this light, but it's incredibly well made. Very quality piece of equipment. I think this is gonna be part of my shop for a long time incredibly useful. So if you like the videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.